are here on Talk of the Town. I'm Betsy McDaniel in for Robin Zimmerman today. And believe it or not, it's time to talk about the Chili Cook-Off, one of the favorite events of the fall. And here to tell us all about it is Pete Nardi and Tim Naley. And they are, of course, with the Kiwanis Club of Hilton Head. So this poster tells me it's the 39th annual. Yeah. That's a big number. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what's, what we can expect this year. We're in a new location, so we're excited about that. Yeah. Um, we're going to be at Low Country Celebration Park which we think is going to be a great venue, a lot of space down there. Yeah. Neat thing about the chili cook-off now is it's combined with Jeep Island. Right. So you've got um, an expo of all these outstanding Jeeps from really around the East Coast now. They've done some great stuff with Jeep Island. Um, so that site's going to have, you know, Jeeps in the center. We'll have the chili cook-off stuff going all around the perimeter of it. Retro Rocks is going to be there. They are one of those fun bands on the island, 80s party band. Love it. They've been a big hit, so we're really excited to, to have them back. And, of course, the stage venue there is great. Right. So we think the venue's going to be awesome. I think so, too. And before we started filming, you mentioned that you, know, you don't get a lot of people just passing by Honeyhorn. So there, people yeah. are going to be walking by and thinking, I want to be a part of what's going on here. Yeah, this venue's great because of all the businesses around there that right. draw people. They'll see it, uh, the hotels, all the... Um, uh, timeshares with the visitors, I think our, uh, our, our attendance will be much higher this year because of that. Yeah, and of course it's October 12th, which is such a great time mm -hmm. of the year here. Of course, fingers crossed for great weather. Right. But let's talk a little bit about who enters, how they can enter, you know, what we're expecting this year in terms of that. Well, we're really looking for cooks. Okay. We're about halfway there on cooks right now. We try to have about 25 or 30. So right now we're about halfway there. So there's definitely still a need for cooks. Okay. Amateurs, professionals. Um, what's really neat about the cook-off is you get everybody from Boys and Girls Club of Hilton Head cooking to One Hot Mamas. Right. Orchid and One Hot Mamas have won it many times. So have the Boys and Girls Club. So it's amateur. Okay, so they're the ones we need to take down. Right? Yeah, right, 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 right. That's what everybody's gunning for. Right. Um, no, so, you know, it's judged amateur, it's judged professional, and then all the attendees vote for people's choice. Yeah. And the cooks are competing for cash prize donation to the youth cause of their choosing. Because the whole event is about raising money for Hilton Head youth causes. Yeah. Um, Boys and Girls Club, Children's Center. Um, different um, booster clubs and things like that have all been the beneficiaries of the cook-off over the years. Yeah, which is, I mean, obviously that's such a great thing to be doing for the community. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about, Tim, your favorite part of this. I know you're the incoming president, actually, for yep. Kiwanis. So right. what you're going to kind of expect as president and what you are hoping for this year for the cook-off. The real fun part, obviously, is seeing, seeing all the attendees enjoy themselves. But, you know, it's really fun watching the cook teams. They really get into this. Um, they have a great time. I, they they enjoy it. Um, of course, it's, they are really happy if they win, but everybody who participates, I think, comes away with a really good feeling and good experience. Yeah. And if somebody's out there and they're thinking, you know, I'm a pretty good chili cook, I, you know, I, maybe I want to enter this amateur part of the competition. Mm -hmm. How do they do it? How, how many people are they, do they need to plan to serve? I mean, because that's kind of a, a big thing. Yeah. Um, HiltonHeadKiwanis.com, one-stop shop. Go to HiltonHeadKiwanis.com. You'll see a big button on the front page. That's how you sign up to cook. It's also how you sign up to sponsor. Okay. We, of course, are still looking for you know local businesses to sponsor. Um, they're getting like a discount on tickets when you're sponsoring. Um, but the cooks, basically, we're asking them to make about four to five gallons of chili. Wow. And each team will usually have two, three people with them as part of their cook team. Yeah. Um, but like Tim said, they make it a fun, right. you know. And, right. and they're not cooking at the event. They're bringing the chili already right. cooked. So it's not like there's a lot of effort there. They're just serving and yeah. interfacing with the uh, attendees. Yeah. But that's probably more than they would make, you know, on a regular Sunday. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, I would think so. <laughs> just a little bit more. <laughs> Talk to us about tickets and how people can attend the event. So same thing, HiltonHeadKiwanis.com. You can pre-order tickets there. And then, of course, tickets will be entry tickets will be on sale at the event we're doing something new this year which is an all you can eat chili uh ticket that you can buy you can okay. buy that online you can buy it at the event and of course the kiwanis grill team the famous kiwanis grill team <laughs> will also be there doing burgers and dogs and things um, adult beverages sodas all that kind of stuff will be there for purchase on site all the funds are going back to youth charities right. on the island, youth causes. Love that. And does it tell me, what, what is the time of the event? It's, it's October 12th, I know. but yep. Noon to 3 p.m. Oh. Um, so it's a pretty short window of it, um, but we think that's going to be a fun area to mm -hmm. have it be something that, hey, afterwards, 
go out, you know, go out in the neighborhood there, go out to dinner or something like that, you know. If there's any room left after, after you all the chili. chili. <laughs> I don't know about that. Well, Pete and Tim, thank you for being here. Well, thank and make you. sure that you are marking your calendars for the 39th annual Chili Cook-Off.